What's up guys, this is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com and today we're gonna to be looking at monitor calibration. What's it all about and is it really that important? And you might think that that sounds boring, but ho oh, ho ho, you just wait to see the results. So monitor calibration, what is it, what does it do, why do we do it, and is it worth actually doing it? Well basically, every single monitor looks completely different, has a different color makeup, and shows your images differently. So when you're editing, what that means is you edit for your monitor, but when it's viewed somewhere else or you send it to print, it looks completely different. And this happens all the time. So. Datacolor sent me one of these. This is their Spider 5 Elite. So I figured I would test this on a few different monitors and see if it actually makes a difference. Now wait until the end of this video to see the results because honestly, it is absolutely crazy what I found. So for the purposes of this test, we're going to label these monitors one, two, and three. One being the brand new MacBook Pro with the latest technology in it. Another one is an iMac, which is four years old, so an older screen, so it will have lost quality. And the final one is this XP pen monitor, which really isn't a very good monitor at all. So we'll see if we can calibrate them all together. So I did two different tests and stay to the end to actually look at the results. But let me explain what I did. The first thing was I took these two photographs and I put them on each of these three different monitors and had a look to see if they looked any different. Now this is before any of these monitors have been calibrated. You can see this one looks blue, high contrast. I cannot edit on this at all. This monitor, although it's a few years old, actually looks pretty good, although it does look fairly warm compared to this brand new MacBook Pro, which actually the colors look fantastic on this and I feel really confident. So the next thing I did was I used a Spider 5 and I calibrated each of the monitors. So what is the Spider 5? Well, basically it is a, I think it's called a colorometer. It's got this little color sensor right here. It plugs in via USB and all you do is you hang it in front of your monitor and run the software. It will run a load of tests on your screen to see what color it's putting out. It takes about five minutes. It will then change the settings of your computer to make sure that the colors are accurate. The results from this were absolutely phenomenal. The images on the monitors now matched perfectly, which was a big, big deal. So this here is all of the monitors completely calibrated and they look fantastic. They match perfectly. And I think now I would be confident with getting these images printed or sharing them with anybody at all. So this thing actually does two different things. One, it uses the colorometer to actually assess your monitor, but also you put it in front of your monitor and it assesses the ambient light so that it's able to match these accurately for perfect editing. So what I did, I did one monitor calibration during the day when I've got light coming through the window, and I did another separate calibration in the evenings when I was using artificial light. All I have to do is go to my computer and I can select the calibration that I want to use, daytime or evening. This is super, super important for anybody who's interested in photography, takes photos, wants to share them online or wants to get them printed. It means that your colors are going to be accurate. If you want to win one of these, it's really simple. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the description. And then in a few weeks, I'm gonna be posting a photo of this on my Instagram account. All you have to do is comment on that photograph and you could have the chance of winning it. What's my Instagram account? Photos in color. Now, I don't know if any of you guys are watching this on a calibrated monitor, so rather than you taking my word for it, I wanted to show you side-by-side -side edits so that you can see really how different this is. I took a raw image, I did an initial edit using the calibrated monitor. I tried to replicate the same edit on three different uncalibrated monitors to see what result I would get. If we take a look at those images side by side, we can see how different they look between the calibrated monitor, which is the image number one, and then the other three monitors all look different. Different color temperatures, different depths, different contrasts. I went into this as a skeptic and thought that maybe this was a lot of hype for no reason. However, I was completely wrong. The results show it all. I took a monitor that was basically unusable and made it completely usable, and now I can edit on that monitor. It is fantastic. 
How much do you need to know about calibration to use this? Absolutely zero. This does 100% of everything for you. It looks at the ambient light, it looks at the color in your computer, and it changes all the settings on the computer for you. It's that simple. Any photographer, amateur, professional, somebody who prints, somebody who shares online, should be calibrating their monitors, and the Spider 5 from Datacolor, I think, is fantastic. If you want to find out more about the Spider 5, all you've got to do is click on the link in the description, and if you use the code Photos in Color in your checkout, you get an extra 10% off. So I want to say thank you to Datacolor for sending me one of these and also supplying me with a secondary one for the giveaway. So remember to like, comment, and follow me on Instagram at Photos in Color. So who is this for? Well, basically, if you are an amateur, intermediate, or pro photographer, you need one of these. If you get your photos printed, or you wanna have your photos looking great when you share them, you need to calibrate your monitors.